The State Department of the United States said that Myanmar's military crackdown on Rohingya Muslims could destabilize the region and invite international terrorists. However, the United States official refused to answer whether the Trump administration will impose any sanctions against Myanmar military. 32 million in humanitarian assistance and uh, 20 million of that is going to Bangladesh right now to uh, and the remainder is supposed to go into Rakhine State in, in Burma. This is a moral issue and it is a national security issue. No one is more secure when extremism and instability is growing in this part of the world. After facing repeated accusations from the United States and its President Donald Trump for sheltering terrorists, Pakistan Foreign Minister criticized the United States for the way it has handled Afghan war and rhetorics towards his country. The Foreign Minister Khwaja Asif also told United States to stop treating the country like a whipping boy. U.S. is focusing uh, solely on uh, the safe haven uh, allegation or blaming Pakistan for what they have not achieved in Afghanistan. Don't just fire, fire, uh, pick up uh, uh, Pakistan and uh, treat us like a whipping boy. No, that, that's not acceptable. Iraqi forces retook the town of Havija from the Islamic State group, driving the extremists from one of their last strongholds in the country. Iraq's Prime Minister declared victory during a press conference in Paris with French President Emmanuel Macron. 20 people were killed and at least 25 were injured after a suicide bomber struck a Shiite shrine packed with worshippers in a village of southwestern Pakistan. Just within hours of the attack, the Islamic State group claimed responsibility for it. In the latest terror scare, a petrol bomb was discovered underneath a lorry in Paris. The authorities are investigating the matter wherein the truck company is alleged to have made striking deals with Islamic State extremists. The United Nations peacekeeping mission in Haiti that has helped maintain order for 13 years of political turmoil has come to an end. The last of the blue-helmeted soldiers from around the world left amidst concerns that the police and justice system are still not adequate to ensure security in the country. Pope Francis denounced all new technologies that help people to make changes in their genders, calling it an utopia of the neutral that jeopardizes the creation of new life. Keeping to the church's strict line against the gender theory, Francis lashed out at how today's exaltation of individual choice extends to one's gender. The Nobel Prize in Literature was awarded to British novelist Kazuo Ishiguro, who is known for his spare elliptical prose style and his inventive subversion of literary genres. The 62-year-old author is best known for his novels The Remains of the Day and Never Let Me Go.